if nothing else, block uncategorized run on websites. If you have blue coat or website or whatever you have that's doing content filtering, if you will block unknown, uncategorized or newly registered domains, you will knock down 98% of any malware that comes into your environment. Guaranteed. Because malware does not exist on legitimate websites. It exists on other websites that are popped up. Command and control, you know, I'm right near, near Oak Ridge, worked so many compromises when it came to the PLA or China and, and, and clear contractors. The C2, anyone that you, any case study you read, the C2 was communicating with an unknown or uncategorized website. They just stood it up just for the attack purposes. The same thing with ransomware. That long website that I showed you in that screenshot, that's not legitimate. They have to move it from website to website to website to where it doesn't get knocked down like, like a mat. So if you block the uncategorized, unknown, or newly registered domains, you are going to knock out the majority of malware of the malware that's getting in your environment when your users are still on the reservation. The only organizations that sometimes have a problem with this, every now and then healthcare may, because they may be communicating with sites that aren't there. You can whitelist them. It could be a pain. You can set it up in login mode just to see what would happen, but you will remove a lot of malware just for that. Disable office macros. There is absolutely no reason anyone needs to be enabling active content. Well, we're an accounting firm. We still have to do that. Okay, fine. Then you can digitally sign those documents. You can turn it off across the board in Active Directory. You can enable it by default for only specific users. And you can actually have the two people in the world that still need to enable macros. You can actually digitally sign those with a certificate to where you trust them. Patch your systems, obviously. Binaries running from 10 folders. This was huge because that's where the ransomware hit. Um, do not allow Tor traffic. Um, whitelisting, if possible, of course, that's going to knock it down because if you're only allowing certain binaries, then, you know, that's malware can't run or ransomware can't run. Backups, obviously, there is no silver bullet. And the reason I th say this is because, you know, we talked about backups in which the vendor says it's guaranteed. And then Sentinel-1, it says there is no silver bullet. You just have to do the best that you can.